What up fellas, it's your boy Johnny and uh... Maybe you're a beginner, or you're getting tired of wearing oversized clothes, or maybe you want to experience different styles. Either way, your boy has got you on how to style ah! fitted clothes. But Johnny, you made a video on why you stopped wearing fitted clothes. You shut up! So first off, lift some fucking weights, man. What is wrong with you? If you aren't lifting weights, you're probably someone that pours the milk before the cereal. Lifting weights will build the foundation for an overall healthier, confident, and disciplined lifestyle. If you haven't seen my top five reasons to be lifting weights, Watch that. Clothes fit better on you. You can rock both fitted and oversized clothes instead of making an excuse of, Oh, I'm not in shape. I'll just wear oversized clothes. Next up, I know this video is about fitted clothes, but, uh, you know, some people wear a little too fitted. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, shit. Alright, you can definitely overdo it, and it's because guys get too egotistical and they want to flex on every dude for validation. We get it, man. You lift. Anyways, all you really want to focus on is the sleeves and maybe the chest area. The sleeves should cut off just slightly above the triceps. If not, it could make you appear more skinny. But you know, at this point, who really cares if you look skinny or not? But if you really do care that much, you know, you can always just roll your sleeves so you can flex that tricep a little bit. As far as the chest area, you will definitely be able to tell if it's a little too tight. Man, I'm roasting myself a Lot. And then from the chest down, you do not want it to be fitted at all. Maybe a bit of a taper, but nothing more than that. Because otherwise, if you do have a little bit of a gut, it is definitely gonna pop out and it's not a good look. The last bit you wanna look out for are the shoulder points and where it ends. Just avoid the drop shoulder tees. Those are for the oversized grungy look, I like that. But if you're all about fitted clothing, you wanna avoid those at all costs. For jackets, if it ain't a blazer, keep it still fitted and conform to your body, but more loose. For the pants, make sure you got some thigh room that won't give you chafing issues, and just don't be wearing them jeggings, bro. So I'm sure you guys are wondering, where do I find these type of clothes? Well, you guys already know, Essentials. And hold on, Jose, I got this. So thank you for Essentials for sponsoring this video. And they aren't just a t-shirt brand, they focus on essentials every one of you fellas need. They got some new pieces in their collection from this upcoming launch on Saturday, and bro, they're gonna sell out real quick. And I know you're gonna be avoiding social media because of Avengers Endgame, so make sure you guys click the link in the description, bookmark it, set it in your calendar, use my discount code, avoid social media at all costs, whatever it takes, and cop yourself an Essentials tee this Saturday, April 27th at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I wanna remind you that they sell out as fast as Thanos crushes the moon. Oh, and uh, to the future people that are gonna spoil Endgame, fuck! So the third tip is to match the fitment of your clothing. This only applies if you're wearing a fitted top. If it's an oversized top or you're layered up well, then contrasting that sizing with skinny slim pants is a great look and shows that you at least know what you're doing. Otherwise, fitted top, fitted bottoms. And you're definitely gonna wanna avoid the fitted top with baggy pants. But if that's you, that's cool. Fashion is very subjective, it's your way of expressing yourself. And if expressing yourself is a fitted top and baggy pants, that's cool bro, just not my cup of tea. Next up, you're gonna wanna learn how to layer for the colder months. I said this earlier, keep your jackets, flannels, and all that a little more loose. Last thing you want is another skin tight jacket. Come on. Instead, leave a little extra fabric to be able to roll your sleeves or to just give your fit a different look. So instead of going from a small to a large for that oversized look, opt for the medium. This gives your outfit a little more flavor and substance, and then if you care, you'll be taking off your jacket off eventually, and then you can show off your gains. And last but not least, you're gonna wanna learn the aesthetics that go best with fitted clothes. All right, so I'm definitely talking about athleisure. Shit, you can wear those compression pants and a nice tank or fitted tee, a pair of runners, and you're set. It is recommended to wear fitted clothes at the gym so your clothing garments don't get caught up during your lift. Another aesthetic I like is the casual street look. So this is a bit of a mix between menswear and streetwear. So your SLP looks, leather jackets and boots, a bit of some hype sneakers and distressed jeans. Solid. This look is perfect for oversized shirts and it's perfect for fitted shirts. And then we got the dapper menswear aesthetic. Your blazers and jackets should fit really well, they should be tapered. But Button downs, polos, and all that should also fit really well on you. The baggy oversized look does not belong in menswear. And there are many more aesthetics, how about you develop your own, bro? I honestly think you shouldn't limit yourself to one type of clothing, oversized or fitted. If you're able to rock both fitted clothes and oversized clothes, then you have a ton of options and you can be even more fresh and fly than that dude that just only wears fitted clothes or that dude that only wears oversized clothes. Don't limit yourself, man. All right, fellas, follow your boy on Instagram, fly with Johnny Ty. Leave a comment down below on if you like fitted clothes better or oversized clothes better and until then stay fly make sure you guys check out essentials and i'm out bruh peace and i'm walking into a light oh shit oh fuck